this is what they're using in the future songs like for vocals i'll probably leave it at what's popping gang today we're going to be mixing uh vocals and pro tools and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this so let's just go ahead and jump into it it's a song from scandal set out the scandal you know what i'm saying link in the description you want to add them on instagram but um one of my homies he recorded a song to one of my beats so let's just hear it real quick She said that I got problems All I care about is trapping <laughs> Well she thought that I was capping When I'm rapping about my problems I told her I would handle it I'm still on war with the savages She said that I got problems I'ma handle it I'm still on war with the savages Alright so that's one of the songs right there It sounds pretty good uh, But I'm just going to show you exactly what I did We're just going to go ahead and start with the verse real quick Number one, with the verse, I started with auto tune. So this is what I do real quick. I just go ahead and uh, turn the speed up, like the, probably around five to four. Humanize. This is this is one of the uh, effects that you use sometimes using auto tune. It can make your voice sound robotic. You know what I'm saying? So you want to turn this up a little bit just to make sure your vocals sound like yourself. Next, you want to make sure you choose this option right here, choosy. I keep mine around 75 to maybe like 90. You know what I'm saying? But right now I'm in the 85 range. Make sure you turn up pitch amount. Next, you want to put this to the scale of the beat i'm not sure if some producers just be clicking in notes or what but make sure you have this set to the actual scale of the beat you know what i'm saying you can use an app on your phone called key detect and i think it's free and that's what i personally use if i don't understand what's the key to a beat real quick i just pull the app up let the uh, phone hear the beat put in the right settings all right so next i add in a compressor so this is one of my favorite compressors that i use for uh vocals at the moment because you know sometimes i'll just like to change effects around but right now this is what i'm using from universal audio it comes with your gear for free my came with my arrow so if you bought a solo or uh any gear from universal audio this is one of the free ones you get link in the description if you want to pick one of yours up next will be this compressor called supercharger and it's free and it's from native instruments so you can download their little sensor thing or whatever and just download one of these for free and i mainly use this because of the punch feature or the dirt feature you know when you're recording these vocals i try to record them as clean as possible that can sound really good but sometimes i like to just dirty it up a little bit make it sound a little bit more gritty you know saying so this is rap at the end of the day and sometimes some of that grittiness can work in your favor it's kind of like coloring in a coloring book and then i keep the the ratio around three to three to one you know what i'm saying nothing too crazy um these are vocals at the end of the day you don't want to over compress it all right so next would be one of these delays that come with pro tools and it's free like i said you can use pro tools first and then it comes with that as well i use these settings right here and basically it's just like a little delay that's really low too as well as you can see like 10 percent over here eight percent over here when you're not saying anything and you got a compressor on sometimes it'll bring up some of the low noises and stuff like that in that area i want to have you know little delays and i got this idea from one of future's engineers his name is seth ferkins R. peter bro you know he died um a few years ago this is one of his things that he did future and some of the artists that he worked with and last would be one of my favorite plugins for vocals is this one right here also put these on his uh vocals as well turn the auto button right here on and then hit up the bump on the low ends and then basically what it's supposed to do is just make your artist sound like he's real close to the microphone like this and I love that effect regardless if they're on the mic or not it just makes it sound more intimate when you're messing with the speed on this plugin this controls the quality if you have it real low I kind of do that with my ad libs have the ad libs on a, like a really low quality sound so you make sure you use a low speed if you put this on your ad libs but for uh, if you turn it on high it's, it's super high quality and stuff it's cool but I kind of just like 15 it's just smooth you know what I'm saying nothing too crazy next will be on the aux track I have all my vocals on an aux track you know what I'm saying so regardless if you're doing the chorus or something like that I have the chorus on a different aux track with its own set of plugins and stuff like that with the verse it has their own aux track if you're working with a, uh, another rapper make sure they have their own aux track you know what i'm saying he get an aux track they get an aux track everybody needs to get their own aux track first would be eq this is the eq that i use called the ssl compressor i already know um with this particular song and a recorded on this microphone which is the norman tlm 103 link in the description if you want to get one the frequency response on these microphones are very flat you know what i'm saying maybe just a little bit of eq boost on on this just naturally i didn't really need to do a whole bunch as you can see i just boosted a little bit of high end around 6k 
uh turned down around 4000 hertz you know I, I feel like for guys around that frequency it doesn't sound as good next you want to make sure you take out around 400 to 300 hertz and that's what i did here took that out a little bit some more low end with the last knob test a little bit of compression too around 3.1 and then make sure it's a fast release if you're doing a slower song you probably want to do a slower release and that's pretty much on the eqs right now for next we got the compressor now i love this compressor like i've seen a lot of people use these i've seen this same very compressor used on like 21 savage or young thug these are some of the settings that i use right here to make sure they sound good you can go ahead and screenshot that if you want next would be the de-esser i love using de DS is on vocals, regardless if your microphone is flat or not. There are going to be a few frequencies that don't sound as good as you want them. So around 700 hertz, I just felt like it didn't sound too good. So I went ahead and turned that down. Next, I wanted to go ahead and tackle some frequencies around here and turn that down a little bit. And make sure when you um, use this plugin, you want to turn this on right here where the bypass, the band passes the effect that you select. Same thing with the last one. Um, I just wanted to try to tackle as many frequencies as possible that get annoying over time. You know what I'm saying? You want this to replayable as many times as possible without getting annoying. Next would be the compressor. I mainly like to use this one because of the ratio feature down here. When you have it all the way up to like 10, when the artist starts getting real low, 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 low like this, um, if you have it at 10, it'll be really low and it'll, it'll probably get drowned out by the beat. So what I do is I bring it up to two when the artist gets low you can still hear the vocal you can still hear what they're saying so that's perfect next you want to make sure you turn the makeup it, it kind of just boosts the vocal a little bit i already added a bunch of compressors so i don't want to do a lot so I'll make sure you turn this low next one will be kind of like uh the icing on a cake and some songs this is what they're using in future songs like for vocals i'll probably leave it at around five to seven percent if you're doing a hook i'll probably just double that to like 15 or something around there but because this is a verse track i only want to do seven percent next will be a plugin called ensemble and this is another one that's like i said i would use around five percent nothing too crazy i don't even mess with the presets but it just gives it a great effect and they use this on future and young thug next will be one of my favorite plugins that will kind of make your vocal sound out of the box you know what i'm saying make it sound like it was recorded in a big studio i wanted my vocals to sound like it came out of a big console so this is one of the plugins that i use you can drive it up a little bit and that's what i did this is zero down here and i kind of drove it up all the way up to like nine you can choose different consoles you know what I'm saying? One of them is like an SSL console. Another one is like another one from UK or something like that. Next would be another plugin where I, I, I really start focusing on shaping the vocal at this point because I already added EQs. I already added compressors. I really want to shape the vocal and make it translate to other speakers as, as much as possible in a really good way. So this is one of the plugins that I would try to do that with. You can use right here where you can bring out more presence, make it more silky. If you want to add uh, bigger punches or you want the sound to sound more big and full, I probably should add this one in there so and then maybe add a little bit of presence next i like like i said i don't want it to be super clean just add a little bit of greediness just, just to add some color and this is the effect that i use saturation and uh, one of my favorite ones i like to use from this little pack here that's from slate digital hollywood saturation and it just sounds so good next i want to make sure that i add a little bit of thickness to it you know what i'm saying i don't want my vocals down super thin and this is a, a real person right here you know just give it a boost of just quality next i always add a little bit of shimmer you know what i'm saying it kind of controls the high end and make it sound a little bit more pleasing don't get me wrong you can make it sound good without it but just having this option to have uh this effect on it it just really just fine tunes the high ends on vocal and that's just it i got a, just a few eqs compressors a lot of dsers and just a few little giblets just a little icing on the cake you know what i mean hopefully this video was able to help you make great music and let me know if this was valuable to you and if you have any ideas that you want to see on this channel let me know i appreciate you guys for watching thank you guys for subscribing and also if you guys want to pick up a mini pack from me there's a link in the description where you can pick one up hopefully you guys stay safe and remember it's only a matter of time peace